days away from winning their sixth Super Bowl in franchise history, tying the record for most all-time in the NFL. The dynasty has been led by Bill Belichick and Tom Brady for two decades. Reigning Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman shed some light recently to Peter King on how the Patriots' evaluation process is different from the rest of the league. Edelman said, quote, I think the Patriots grade people differently, honestly. They don't want distractions. They want guys that are versatile. They want mentally tough football players. That's what I've seen through my career being there. They want a smart, physical, tough football player. If you don't have that, you're probably not going to be there. Um, Rob, you have been critical of the Patriots and the Patriots way uh, over the years. Is it time to sing a different tune? Not at all. I'm always when I hear the Patriots way. You know, everybody tries to that they're doing something else. They're adding different ingredients into the meal and only they know what they're doing and, and, and it rubs off on, on whatever. They've had a lot of swings and misses. They've made a lot of mistakes. You remember they brought in Albert Hainsworth. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Albert Haynes. <clears throat> He's going to fall in line the Patriots way. How'd that work out? Ocho Cinco went up there too to New England. How'd that work out? There's a list of players. Mm -hmm. So when they always talk about this, and then here's the other part. The, the coaches who are there under Bill Belichick have gone off to their own places, taken the Patriot way with them, and it hasn't panned out the same way. Things have worked out. They've had players that have worked, but I don't know if there's some special formula that people want to give credit. They try a lot of things because they're able to try a lot of things and take chances on people because they play in a very uh, easy AFC East they know they got five or six wins every year. They can, they can, they can take a chance on people that, that other people can't do because if they don't hit on them or they miss on them, it's going to really hurt them where the Patriots don't seem to have that. So I'm not buying into that. They do something differently that other people don't know. They've had a really good coach and a quarterback who, given the opportunity to open the door for him to beat you, he beats you <laughs> in Tom Brady. That's it. That's what? all you'll give him. What? I'm just a saying. A pretty good quarterback. Oh, that if they open the door for him, he will usually beat you. He's been very lucky. We all know that. I don't have to go into that whole story. He's been very fortunate. But Bill Belichick, we know he won two championships with the Giants as a defensive coordinator. This guy's won almost everywhere except for Cleveland. But he's had a, a, a recipe of winning. I just don't know if it's transferable. And that's my issue with the Patriots' way, trying to convince me that they have something that nobody else in the National Football League knows what they're doing except the Patriots. I don't buy into that. It, why does it need to be transferable? No, because if there is a way and a formula, it's why wouldn't Patriots it be? Way. It, 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 for them, they can... They no, but if I'm... Patriots if it's way. But if I'm if, Patriots yeah, way. but if I'm Romeo Fennell or, or, or Charlie they, Weiss or Matt Patricia or whoever who was there, I should be, or Eric Mangini, I should be able to take what they do and how they evaluate no, players. Have they I should be able to take that, Greg, go somewhere else and implement the same exact system and win. I, and nobody's I, done it. I think he has created a culture over years that getting players to buy in, right? It's a mentality. It's about it's Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Period. No, so you're on to something, Jamie. When you look at the Patriots, the New England Patriots, they they look at things the same way everybody else does, but what what takes priority is where they differentiate themselves. Most teams are going to look at talent and say, "Man, this talent, I need that. I can use that." And they're going to go right for the talent first. The Patriots, I don't believe that that's what they do. I'm not saying they don't do it. They don't do it some some of the time, but more than often they're not going to go with just talent first. They're going to go with mental toughness, like Elman said, fit. Where, where are they at with their own ego? Are they willing to conform to our way of doing things? Because if you're not the guy, if your name isn't in the spotlight, Did Josh Gordon know, if, of listen to one of them, if your name isn't in the spotlight, if you're not who we, who we showcase every single week, are you going to be okay with that? And are you going to give 100% every single time you step on this football field? That's, that's what I feel like they look at. And then if your talent meets that and it exceeds that, that's a plus. 
But they want guys that are going to do their job. That's why it's their mantra. I want guys that are simply going to do their job because Bill Belichick, what he understands is it's not about it's not about all having talent. Every team in the National Football League has talent. They're not short of talent, but everybody is not willing to stay in their lane and do their job. That's the problem, and that's what he's figured out, and that's what these guys And nobody else in the NFL and all the coaches who worked under him, they can't take that and go somewhere else and do what you just said. You know it. You just laid it out. How come, how come it doesn't work for other people? That's because there is no way. No, no it's there is not. No it's way. not. It's Rob, not. It's there not. Is, there is no way. way. It's, it, that's Bill Belichick. No, that you, no you way. can't. Every coach, every every player knows this, and every every coach knows this. Just because Bill Belichick does it, yes, I'm going to take a piece of what he does, but I want to put in my way too. I want to make sure I have and create my own identity as a head coach, as a, a branch. Or they talk about this tree that coaches have off this coaching tree as a branch off this coaching tree. I want to make sure that my way is going to be the way. So even though I may entertain and I may implement some of the things that Belichick does, I don't want it to be exactly the way he does it because I need to have a footprint. I need to make a statement in the stand saying, you know what? This is what I do. Follow me. Don't, I'm not just going to follow him. But there is, a, there is something to, I don't care what you say, there is something to the way they go about business. When you see guys who are unwilling to make it work and they, we all know that they have talent and they just don't, Reggie Wayne out of his own mouth has said, man, I could, no way. Because there was a different type of discipline. There was a different type of approach to the game and the emphasis on meetings. They meet for everything. Some guys in, their, in, in the longevity of their career, when they felt like they've accomplished things, you know what, I, I, I shouldn't be meeting that much. I'm not going to put that time in. And that's what you have to forego. Your way of thinking is not the right way so when, when they, you go into the Patriots. Rob, to say that there's no Patriot way, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. 18 years of Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, nine trips to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but that could be about Six talent of Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. It, well, it certainly is about that. But, but two people, one being a coach, can't win everything. You look at their players, and you mentioned Albert Haynes where Josh Gordon, you didn't mention Ocho but Cinco. Randy Moss, Ocho Cinco. You mentioned that as if that's an insult to the Patriots. I give them credit because those aren't their typical type players. But to go out and try to use those, get those players in their system, I don't look at that as a negative. It's the players that didn't want to conform, and that's fine. But that's not a negative on the Patriots. And then just because the assistants haven't played or done it as well as Belichick, how's that hurt? The, does Michael Jordan know basketball? Why hasn't it transferred to Charlotte? Did Phil Jackson have a good system with the triangle? Why didn't Jim Clemens have success with it when he was a head coach? I mean, Jerry West, does he know how to run a franchise? Why in Memphis did he miss the playoffs three out of his seven years and never get out of the first round? I mean, it, that doesn't mean there's not a system in place. And look at the, the thing that began convincing me that Tom Brady was the GOAT, began, was when he had Randy Moss. And he had won Super Bowls. And then he had Randy Moss, and his numbers were incredible. And now, with, with average players, he's been able to still win Super Bowls. So th there's, there's a Patriot And way. the only one to crack the Patriot way, the New York football giants. Twice. Is, twice, baby, is Whoa, Kyler the Murray. Eagles got him. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the Giants got him twice. Uh, Kyler Murray, too short to risk a high draft pick on. My favorite NFL team reportedly thinks so. But TJ Hushmanzada will join us to answer that question next. And I won't back down. Breakfast at Burger King just.